Right, so, like, a few days ago, we were randomly thinking about how silly Father Christmas, or sorry, Santa Claus, because if we are Americans, how silly Santa Claus movies are. Mm -hmm. Suppose a setting, universe, whatever, where Santa Claus exists, and yet somehow all of adult society has avoided becoming aware of this fact, and so you've got this, like, you've got adults that have lived, like, at least 30 years not knowing Santa exists in this setting where Santa exists, which is weird. Yeah, it can get pretty weird like that, can it? But is there like a world building element? The idea of Santa being this like yokai demon that just happens to exist and all adults in the world don't don't know this yet could somehow believe it's real and exists is weird nonsense. O only kids believe and manifest this yokai spirit of Santa Claus <laughs> from how every adult just does not know or care or or is aware of the existence yeah, would, of this. At least that would make sense if Santa Claus was a demon that was powered by the belief of children and then adults grow up and they no longer get presents from Santa, they have to give presents to each other or whatever you do. Like in a lot of Christmas movies with Santa Claus, the gift giving between adults still happens, but Santa exists at the same time. And there's these these regional gift givers, like we've got that one concept that we drew once for our future project, which is basically the Finnish goat Santa. Oh yes. Oh it's that's a, a really fun the, design. I like the that. Dr Drulupuki or whatever how you would pronounce that, which is Finnish or something Drulupuki. like that. Yeah, Jolapuki. Oh, yes. Original Santa Claus from Finland. Yeah. It's a Finnish Christmas figure. The name Jolapuki literally means Christmas goat or Yule goat. Oh, yeah. that's really cool. Yeah, hence, hence Goat Santa. <laughs> goat Santa? Absolutely. I want a Goat Santa over the regular human Santa. Like, Santa works as a concept of a local, local Good Samaritan that's giving gifts to other families. When you start looking at, and at scale, like, the scales you get these days were like millions and billions of people. Then be things lot. get a bit weird. Same thing with religion, hot take. <laughs> that, that is certainly a hot take, yes. <laughs> it gets weird when you start trying to apply it to the entire planet. Santa as a concept is just weird, and if you actually make Santa real in like a fictional setting, things get weird in terms of like how that would work logistically like who knows Santa is real who stops believing in Santa even though he literally is a person in that setting slash yeah like slash entity like actually exists as opposed to like I don't know like our current belief in like gods and stuff that you know I mean we like we kind of like agnostic polytheistic shrug <laughs> yeah that like i'm i would say I, i'm probably in that roughly area like i would certainly accept the existence of gods plural i guess an actual the better comparison to make would be like saying you don't believe hitler existed in a setting where santa exists or god exists there's provable like effect on the world like the gift giving or holy smiting of the unknown believers that'd be like wake up one day and like you don't believe in like the president of the u.s or something it's just like no that person doesn't exist anymore that's why i made the comparison to like hitler choosing not to believe hitler existed even though there's literal historical record <laughs> yes y yes indeed it, but yeah, yeah, it's a lot like that, and it's just like, but Hence, hence why when we, we then became to the thought of Christmas, Christmas movies are just Christian propaganda for kids. Yeah, I could, <laughs> I could definitely believe that, yeah. <laughs> I could believe that being a thing. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, nowadays, uh, like, realistically, I think for most people, uh, like broadly speaking christmas is really just like it's that holiday that happens where everyone gives gifts so basically it's just like consume products <laughs> so yeah <laughs> youtube and everyone else watching this i don't even know just ignore me i'm i'm clearly just i don't even 
I just don't even. Where, where do products tell you about consumerism? I mean, we're toys, of course we're products. It's true, that was created. That was created for a specific purpose of fun. <laughs> That's my whole reason yeah. for existing, after all. Yeah, uh, 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 hello. Two toys talk about the weirdness of Christmas movies. And consumerism. And also play S&T 5. That too, we should be doing that. Where is the... Where is she here? That's Trask. It's Trask. They, them, slash it, it's. And we've had a bit of an oopsie with our schedule again, but we might miss next week again because of, you know, that whole thing. There, there's life stuff happening, so scheduled delays may happen. Semicolon W semicolon. <laughs> there you go. That's our response. Anyway, no, so like, we did a bunch of off screen grinding. Like, we went around, we found a method to getting vitality essences. Oh, right. You remember telling me that. So, how many did you, did you end up getting? So, there's a few spots around here which. I mean, I like, I will go, hey, 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 and all that sort of thing. Hey, hey, and hey. They sort of consistently give vitality essences. And then, oh. we're not sure what the trigger is to respawn them. But we just sort of like either reloaded or respawned or so on and so forth until we got them again. And we spent a few hours doing that, just idly, because we just wanted to get essences. Makes her an up less squishy. How much did we get? Let's see, uh, 22. Okay, yeah. <laughs> That's a lot. So, let's see, have you fed any of them to Cernip yet, or no, no? we have not, and Cernip currently has 46 vitality. So we could definitely bump that up quite a bit. So let's do that, shall we? There we go, 68. There we go, that looks, that looks a bit less squishy, so, shall we say. Yeah. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Between not having any elemental weaknesses and 68 vitality, hopefully now Serenup will not get wrecked in like one attack like before. More vitality than Tsubasa by one, but still more than vitality. Uh, that's that's a thought. <laughs> Serenup does have not, well actually it, it still has more HP than Yoshitsune has. So like, you know, like HP also affects things obviously, because you could have like a lot of vitality, but you could also have very little HP. If you don't have a lot of HP, all that vitality will probably not save you from certain attacks. Yeah, so we gave Ashitsune a critical zealot, which as you can see it increases critical damage but lowers normal damage. Which is fine because Asatobi is always crit, so you know. <laughs> I see I see exactly why you did that then. Ho 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 ho. There are a few other skills we could give to Yoshitsune, but we're unsure about them, because, like, there are a... Yoshitsune has limitations, obviously, being all physical. Of course. So the question becomes, should we hold off on some skills, give them to someone else instead, in, this, in those situations where Yoshitsune falls short? We could give Yoshitsune this, to increase the physical damage even more. That could be We handy. could also give... It what do we replace though? Impalus Animus, mm -hmm. which increases damage with the next attack and its peace to self. So that would effectively negate Yoshitsune's shortcoming of having physical, like, it would allow it to pierce physical defenses. Which is like it's one big problem. The problem the problem with this is that since it's on self it will require two turns to pull off. Hmm. Whereas currently we've got Dynam Glady on Serenup, which helps us because we can give Dynam Glady to Yoshitsune and use and have Yoshitsune attack in the same turn. Whereas with Impaler's Animus, we'd have to charge up with Yoshitsune one turn and then attack on the next turn, which is hmm. less efficient. Yeah. Like how much damage and downtime, basically, or setup time, rather? 
So while, while we were trying to, so that's the, so that's the situation. Yes. So that is the, the uh, blah. So that <laughs> words is, are hard. <laughs> words is hard. We we squeak because mouth big and squishy and stuff. M mouth big and squishy. It's true. So that is a situation with Yoshitsune. So it's like got a few skills we could give it, but we could give it to something else instead. Got to decide. Got to think ahead. And of course, yeah, we made a rotary, and it's it's nothing special. It's only got you know a hundred and three vitality. Definitely nothing exciting or anything like that. No, <laughs> definitely not. <laughs> and lots of HP too. So this thing is an actual tank. Yeah, this is this is the ultimate tank. You cannot possibly beat this tank. Well, you can put it asleep, poison, or confuse it. Then we're in trouble. But you know, <laughs> especially if it's confused and it decides to just like start w like whacking <laughs> our allies, and it's like, no, please don't do this. Yeah, that would be very bad. But yeah, four immunities and a hundred and like over a hundred vitality is just it also wow. also made this. Ooh, we got which a Dirk is, now. Which is pretty good. And and Moloch. Now Moloch is nothing that exciting in terms of its its actual use. Its real purpose is to sing. All skills of all allies will cost twice the MP, but deal double the damage for one turn. Wow. So that's just like when you activate the, like, go ham button, and you imagine, just, like, use all imagine of... Imagine sticking this with, like, Donum Gladi. Oof, wow. Oh my gosh. You know what? I bet you could make some disgusting, like, <laughs> Hustrophobia damage if you pop this. That's what the was... thing. Oh, we got this because... Bad. We'd seen some things around where someone used Mara, because Mara also has this skill, and we thought, okay, who can we get that is not Mara that has Oh My God, Toki Savage? Because we don't want Mara. No. But we want the skill. <laughs> yes. I much prefer a Moloch having this for so many reasons. Otherwise, it's. Well, I guess it's got, it's got Dark Pleroma and a few Dark Skills. Otherwise, the big point to the fusion of this was savage so could be useful we've got yeah. a buffed up serenap we've got disgusting tank we've got yoshitsune a smidge more stronger and the question of what to do with certain skills in the future and we've got a possibly utility demon for making damage just even more absurd so yeah, that's that's a good selection of things off screen, and we can now go and cause absolute destruction and mayhem to Dart. So yes, uh, next on the agenda, let's fight the noodle. Who has four of the Infinity Stones? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I was just looking at the orbs that they were carrying in each of their paws. All right, let's see. What are we up against here? Uh, darkness. Okay. Darkness. Okay. Yep, that's easy enough. Do we have anybody with darkness currently on the field? I think we might need to swap someone. Or just use dark gems. That's probably fine too. Who would win? One big noodle or many smaller noodles? A noodle bowl. <laughs> uh, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We're just noodling around. That's all we're doing. Oh, it's, I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> I think Murakumo is going to be one of our better attacks against this thing. Boop. See, look at how much damage it is already down. It's already yeah, down. seriously. Quite Ow. damaged. Look how much syrup damage. Look at syrup survived. It <laughs> did. Oh my gosh, Cernup can actually tank things like a Megadolion from Noodle. Also, it's slightly rude that, you know, they can just summon Baihus and stuff. Alright, we upgraded Punch Punch into Health Rest. Ooh, excellent. Which is basically the same, but heavy. Oh, beautiful. That's even better. It really just ensures that Yoshitsune is not, like, shut down by immunity yeah. or strike. 
because Yoshitsune can easily beat. Oh my god, it missed. It was not good. That was very not good. <laughs> wow. Oh, good news is, is that the silly, like, Doom Noodle decided to electrify a, a, an electric immune. Yeah, Super so absorbs electric, which basically destroys all their turns. Oh, beautiful. Cool. Thank you. So, yeah. Well, that did have been perfect. I'm glad we absorbed one of its attacks, at least. And then, well, we have still haven't buffed yet it's in a bad. True. It's still oh, good. Beautiful. Damage. Oh yeah, you really can't complain there. 900 damage. Whew. Wow. Um, That's. And to think this thing used to be terrifying, and we're doing flat nearly a thousand damage. Well, no, we've got we've got. We've lowered its defense by two, but it still still makes a big difference. Actually, it's, it's actually going to be Subasa. I want to see the difference in uh, in that attack with that. All right, who are you going to call this time? That thing. Oh, thanks a lot. <laughs> yeah. Murakumo. Yeah, Murakumo. Let's Fun see how well you do. On Huang Lung. Kumo. Oh, 1386. Wow. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> oh, wow. Remember we could barely tickle this thing? I think that was like our last encounter was like we were doing barely double digit damage to it or something. It was a sad state of affairs and now we can do like four digit damage to it. So... My, how the tables have turned. I mean, just look at that damage. That's, like, disgusting. It's beautiful. I love it. That's going to be quite a bit of damage. Just a bit. Oh, it missed. Good. Oh, that, beautiful. That bunk neck turn. I'm... That's partially why I'm actually happy it's been AoEing a lot, because it's all of its AoEs, it seems. Well, that was a critical hit, 1700. I saw that, I was like, it's already in red. In how many Donum rounds has it been? Gladi. You could Donum Gladi. Yeah, I'd say Yoshitsune. either Yoshitsune. Yeah, Yoshitsune. Because it's his turn. Yeah. <laughs> his turn comes before Tsubasa, so. Another turn. Well, you're gonna die this turn. Yep, okay, yeah. Hasso Topi is definitely gonna seal the deal here. Oh, wow. How much damage even was that? That was. That, that was. That's gotta be in the 2000s. We destroyed it, the Doom Noodle. Doom Noodle got. doomed. Compared to our previous. our previous experience, that's just hilarious. It really is. That was amazing. Have we broken the game? Uh, we might have taken the game and <laughs> broke it over our, our knee or something. I don't know. It's just snapped it like a twig. Yeah, just casually doing thousands of damage to you each turn. Yeah. Remember, defeat equals friendship. Wow, 80,000 Mako. That, that's a nice little extra bit there. Also, yeah, we have just absurd amount of money as well. Just just casually. Casually, as you do. Oh, we get Null uh, Dark. Right. That's, mm. that's pretty good for Throne to get. Having less weaknesses is always nice. And I just don't see, like, right. Toxic Spray being super amazing in the long run. Maracunda for Titania. Let's see what Doom Noodle has for for move set now that we've unlocked it. Let's, let's see. Uh... So Huang Long is where? Where is it? Is it? That's there. Oh, okay. So. Uh, oh, it's not going to let me actually see this. See what it goes because we have to like actually. Yeah, we're level seventy four. We're not high enough yet. And oh, wow. we're missing. Okay. 
whatever oh, this is. Baihu, or whatever it was. Bai oh, Baihu, yeah, it was, no, it was Baihu, I believe. I'm sorry, Baihu, it's, it's not anything against you, it's just that you are, you lead to something amazing, and you're just a requirement. <laughs> you're a prerequisite. It's good to meet you too. You're going to make Huang Long a literal god. Uh, frenzied Chomp. Nee. Chance of inflicting... It's cool on probably, paper attack, probably, but... Probably good for by her, not so much for Huang Long. Yeah, I want to see its stats. So yeah, maybe the Long Summer Gun lost candy, and yeah, it gets fierce wall. And Almighty Pluroma and Fizzball. Almighty Pluroma and... And its, it's stats are... Interesting. Pretty even across the board. But just absurdly high. Even, but very <laughs> high. And, and once we slap, basically, once we get this and throw on the, like, null dark on this thing, oh man, this is probably going to be like a permanent member going forward, just about. Great life spring, maybe some other things. Yeah. It'll. A great life spring would kind of obsolete a roach in a way, almost, because it would be maybe. better at resisting a lot. Or it'd be a very mm. strong contender for it, maybe. True, like, Orochi's got absurdly high vitality, but Huang Long has... We'll probably end up with more HP, maybe. ...resistances, and also no weaknesses to different elements. It's got res a resistance confusion. Yeah. It's, it's, it's more... So... It's a better tank in its own way. They're kind of a side grade, isn't it? Yeah, like, Orochi and Huang Long are kind of side grades to one another. Like, it, there's trade-offs here, it but seems. Huang Long's weakness is... It has Mega Dao Long, but of course Almighty is powerful, but not good for Twin Economy. Yeah, that. Yeah, so it's an interesting possibility. It's a noodle, so it's good too, but... Noodle is good. It's noodle. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. The... I would still probably have the Huang Long in our party anyway. Just somewhere in there. It's going to be a very good addition. If Will for nothing else other than being very good at almighty damage with Megadolion with almighty Pleroma buffing Return. it. So yeah, next, our next goal, let's fight Fion. I think that's probably our, our next... Yeah, we, we did a, a nice like bonus boss. I think we could do the that next. Give me the I want to like give me the twelve sodas. Twelve, just casually twelve so sodas. Why not? Uh, Yoshitsune has less HP than Surin up, and has less vitality, I think, too, which is hilarious when you think about it. That Surin up is now tankier than Yoshitsune, probably. Yeah, it's kind very of. Silly. Yoshitsune has half physical. Oh, true. true. Again, it's all very, it's all slightly more nuanced than it first appears. Yeah, there's a lot more, like, moving parts to account for. Like, even the level, level might be relevant to the damage calculation. We're not sure. Which is interesting because... You'd think level is just basically just a flat indicator of your character's progress. But it actually, it actually might affect the damage calculation's an interesting choice. Yeah, it wouldn't be the first game, I think, that has done no, yeah, like we've that. looked around when researching things for our own game development. Quite a few games actually use level in the formula. Like we think Final Fantasy VI does. That's interesting. And makes sense. And apparently, we forget the exact details exactly, but apparently you don't actually gain stats until you get summons. The Espers in VI since they affect, they basically affect your jobs in Final Fantasy VI. Right. They are responsible for your level ups. Your level up, your your stat level ups. You'd think, but wait, how am I getting stronger? Because of your level. Your level affects your damage. That's very interesting. And it's hmm. interesting because you don't get espers for a while. Like level thirty. Like it takes until you get to like until you start recruiting. What's his face and realm. So. Basically, before that, it, it really is like l like level is modifying everything behind the scenes. Rhythm, mm -hmm. so, as like, don't to. don't quote us on it, big, but we could be completely wrong. Yeah. But that's what we read. If a if a if a boss has like it's like level seventy eight in Persona, it's not just a visual 
two of how strong it is, it's also going to affect the damage. It's just an, an added layer of nuance, really. So yeah, we always presume that level was really just a, a signpost of how far you've come. But in a few it's... games, quite a few games seemingly, it actually affects the damage as well, which is interesting, really. Yeah, it becomes like closer to like a measure of strength, really, as a more as a measure of progress. Well, it helps to avoid things like uh, I'm going to use like an example here. So you know of like like Geno World, right, from Super Mario RPG, where I think like that move can do nine 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 damage. You because it's like it's very timing based. So I think it's regardless of Geno's level can just do straight up nine 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 damage. <laughs> Which, as you know, can be really broken. Anyway, anyway we have we have we have this yeah. lovely person here and to talk hello. to. Hi there, buddy. Ho there. Yeah, let, now we now we're good. Yep, we can accept Fion's resolve. Good. All right, it is time for us to dance. To swords dance. <laughs> um, that's interesting. Uh, okay. But sure. The time has come. That's it's just one of his secret techniques, the thumb lick. Easy to win, Stan. Yeah. Whoa, excellent. Well, we like having lower defense on the enemy for many reasons. But first, let's have a look at what we have against here. So we want Electric. lightning. Oh, beautiful. Electric. Well, that's, that's very unfortunate for him. Ice, fire, and strike is the three damage types that he uses. I don't think we have anybody on the field that's weak to ice. So we're probably fine. Or fire, for that matter. God. It's right. six damage. It's and block on top of that for added insult. That's amazing. Twenty-six yeah. damage though. Wow, that's uh, very impressive damage there. Note the slash S there. Ruinous Thunder. Extra ruinous against this guy. Do we have any like like Donum Majesty? Or magic or whatever? Mm, somewhere somewhere. Because that with Ruinous Thunder would probably be pretty ruinous, we'll say, to that guy. Oh yeah, just whatever. 888, excellent. Ah, oh, beautiful. Ruinous Thunder! Look at that, he's already down a quarter of health bar. Well. Oh, that's, that is catastrophic indeed. I like it. Wow, the damage we can do is disgusting, isn't it? Look at that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> 300s in there. How is how much damage? We we gotta have done like like twenty four hundred not well maybe not quite twenty four hundred it'd be like twenty two hundred to twenty four hundred damage somewhere in between that I think because it's eight hits right it's seven eight hits it does three hundred damage seven eight hits so it's a lot <laughs> yeah it's like twenty two to twenty four hundred in that range it's a lot look at that already less than half. So we probably don't have too much to worry about, I hope. You know, in before he one-shots someone, <laughs> and then it's like, oh, actually, we can worry now. Jeez, the only question is we could probably just beat him this turn. We probably could, like, delete him pretty soon. We cannot be serious. Oh, my... Wow. Just, just lol, really, is all you can say to it. Yes. So if we hit this, we'll have 
We won't have enough tunes to get another SW off. Well, here's the thing. So, Rune of Thunder will buy us another turn. You now have two turns. So, what? Oh, you know, two turns, so yeah. Happen. You have to make your another tree, so... Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna try. Oh, I have no... I, would I, I have no first tempest, goddammit. Uh, so, we'll, ha we'll have to take a gamble and hope that he's gonna cast an elemental spell. So, let's try fire. In and hopes PS4 that. Is gonna run out, so then... And it's extra defense too. Just keeps the defense up. Yes. Oh, yes, yes. You fool. You fool, you've doomed yourself. You've doomed yourself. Well, you're not gonna live to the next round, I can <laughs> assure you of this. Yeah, you're really ne definitely not gonna live to the your next turn. That was your last turn. So, good job, Fionn McCool. Uh, you played yourself. <laughs> or rather, we... Well, you got played anyway. Oh, wrecked. So, again, have we broken the game? I think we might have broken the game. <laughs> so Finn McCool got hecking wrecked. Give me, give, me, give me more strength. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're kind of like pretty committed to strength now because we have a really good strength attack. No. Yes. Hmm? Oh, um, hmm. Okay. Uh, so let's make room for our new friend here. I want a, a Finn McCool in, in the party. All right. I forget what we had it. Possibly fusion folder that we just never used. I think so too. Well, there we go. We got a Finn McCool now. So and it was fusion, I guess, if we wanted to fuse a new, new one. So let's take a snoopy yet. Your stats are actually kind of low, comparatively, but you've got Mark on the win, and Hades Blast, and really? Just Estoma? That is not an impressive series of skills there. Mark on the win is, from what we've researched, supposed to be like, if repaired, just disgusting. <laughs> so, it's a really good ability to have crit, so maybe building around... Is there ways to increase crit chance, like, passively? Uh, yeah, there's a few things like that. Like, that would be the reason to have one of those other skills we were looking over earlier on Fion. To build Fion around doing basically even more damage than Yoshitsune. Oh my goodness, and it already but, does like terrifying damage, so it's like But my he goodness. needs he needs more preparation, but he can do more damage. Interesting. Okay. But the thing is is that Hasadobi is amazing, but it's defeated by immunity super physical and more than one target. Ooh, hmm. Whereas Ma Makanluan at least hits one target. So so it's it's very good if you want one thing to die, yeah. <laughs> basically. Fear McCool, Mac, McCool is the balance balance to Yoshitsune's issues, in a sense. And Fion is the one where we are considering, maybe we'll give you the other skills, instead of Yoshitsune. Uh -huh. So this might be the one to dethrone, like, y y Yoshitsune then. Hmm. So we could get Kukulain. Kukulain. Clean. And then yeah. we could re refuse Fion with possibly better skills. But it's like, I don't know if there's any Got passives that like play with increasing your crit rate passively. Like, is there some sort of like crit pleroma mm. that I'm not aware of? Uh, there's a crit something that we showed earlier, we'll have to reshow it. 
Yeah. Uh, charge, possibly. Force for uh, armor? No, we're not worrying about that. Or fusion fodder, don't need to worry about it. Yeah, Kukulain is just there to re rebuild Fionn McCool, but better somehow. But here, here he is, the, the better, the not new, but definitely improved <laughs> Fionn McCool. <laughs> so, yep. Good. Oh, jeez. Ah, uh, mm. right. Uh, first, first things first, replace Estoma right now. We don't need that garbage. It's bad. Uh, Bufabarian is quite nice to have as well, if we don't have a lot of ice right now. Which yeah, I think... Subasa has ice, yeah, though. Yeah, Subasa has ice. Perhaps. Um, we'll forgo it. Well, we could discard it for now. And null now ice. The, now the tricky bit. I think null ice would be nice to have, because that would give him immunity to four elements, which is super great. Well, for starters, he's got Aggie Barry on. Unless we encounter someone that is immune to both physical and fire. Which yeah. I don't think is terribly common, I don't think. Yeah, let's just replace it. Yeah. Look at all his supports. Uh, but, like, realistically, like, all Finn McCool really is, is, like, he he's, like, a counterpoint to Yoshitsune, in a way. Like, they're very similar, but they're kind of, like, just different enough to be interesting to one another and fulfill probably different niches, really. Uh, so what would turn it was the edit? It was... So it has critical aura. 100% accurate and guaranteed critical. That's the skill we need. Ah, self. Okay, so it has to be on film. So if we were to theoretically, like, build uh, Fionn, so we'd have to, like, rebuild him and put that on him. I'd probably say at least one of the nulls, maybe. Critical zealot. Oh, what, what monster are we making See, here? This is what's happened. This is... This is the thing. When you do things like this, you outshine Hasatobi, is the thing. It, yeah, we're kind of purposely building, like, Fionn to be good at one singular thing, and that is to look at one enemy and delete them with that one skill. Yeah, I'd say Frey Kugel is a good, like, plan B. It gets around hit the fact that mm. he could be shut down with immunity to Fizz, so... Uh, Enduring Soul... Yeah, I don't, we probably don't need, like, Null Dark and Null Ice. That's probably a little bit silly. Especially because... Even, even though we just gave... We tried giving it them both, but... But, like, we literally are fusing him with something that had high fizz and critical aura. Do, do you think we're just going to, like, not use those? Of course... <laughs> and critical... And, of course, critical zealot. It's like, are, can you just expect us not to use that? The answer to that is no. We are going to use it. Yeah, the current situation is... In critical aura to make sure the next attack will be will hit and it will be critical. And then we use Mac on the wind, which is can even do more damage. And then combine that with high fizz, 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 yeah, high, fizz high fizz, standard fizz, critical zealot. That could be some scary damage. I suppose once he has three immunities, he's not likely to get one shotted. Not too likely, no. Because if you look at him, other than luck, he has good all-round stats everywhere yeah. else. Like, he's not a squishy glass cannon, generally, I don't think. So... Mm. Maybe actually we could... So we during Soul for another immunity. It, now, here's the thing. I will counteract that having both, like, immunity to light and dark does remove a lot of risk with one-shotting. Well, no, because... C c or do they not one-shot? One-shot shot. only happens if they're weak to it. Oh, right. Okay, never mind then. All right. It's not... It's I was not thinking of, big. like, other rules where yeah. it's just, like, it'll randomly one-shot. In, no in this game, it does one. damage. Otherwise, if you're weak to it, it has a chance of killing you. Gotcha. Okay, so... Which is actually kind hmm. of nicer. It's more nuanced and flexible. It's more yourself. fair, so you... Humber and Weaver, yeah. otherwise they're just useless in boss battles. True. Also, it just makes them very cheesy, because you could just run into, like, hilarious moments where you're just one-shotting things that are... Yeah, as we did in normally, P3. <laughs> as we did in P3. <laughs> it was very silly. I think we have ourselves a a pretty good Fion here. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I, I agree. A cannon, as it were. 
that that's probably the best way I can describe them is a cannon. Takes time to prepare and, and load, but point at somebody and they're probably not s surviving mm. it. So, yeah. So what was the other skill again? It was Impalous Animus, right? This thing. This is the alternative to increases the damage of the next attack and adds pierce. Okay. This would be beneficial if we needed to pierce and use Michael Lewin. However, True. it does not stack with the charge stuff, as we recall reading. Piercing oh, and charging mm. is independent. Which unfortunately, okay. that said, it does increase damage as well. We're not sure whether it was the same amount of damage or not. If we really want to ignore a defense against physical, we've got Frey Kugel. I'd, mm. lean to I'd lean towards just sticking with what we've got, because... Yeah. And Painless Animus seems like a really circumstantial skill. It's a really which, expensive circumstantial skill. Which I will and, say is indeed that case, yep. And if you're in a situation where you need to pierce at any immunity, you're probably better off choosing a different strategy. Unless we run into a boss in the future which just blocks everything. It's like, lol, hope you pierce. It's like, oh, god damn it, Atlas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's... It's not... We're in a situation where we can't have our cake and eat it too. It's like, we have yeah. to really kind of decide here. There's no... In a perfect world... We can't take everything on, sadly. Yeah. No, we can't, like, buff the heck out of, like... Our, our like Fionn McCool here and be like don't worry you have like guaranteed crit and pierce and like double damage and like <laughs> double crit damage and like attack up and like defense down on the enemy and like charge and like <laughs> you know all these like wacky like modifiers happening yeah and... yeah 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 not quite that it's broken just make make the one even stronger because why not Absolutely. I don't see a problem here. So, I think we're mm. all good for now. Uh, we but need yeah. some mm. strength and senses so we can raise Fionn's... Well, we strength. could give Fionn some, some of the... What, what is it? Stamina? Gives more MP? More MP, yes. Because, I mean, granted he has the same MP as Sirenup, or unless it's counting the current out. Yeah, so we actually it's heal for those because we're we've just been wandering along fighting boss after the boss without healing because we can uh, we can we can do it. Have we learned nothing? Like we did this last time and, and look what happened. It was bad. <laughs> that true, but yeah, so <laughs> up has four. But, but we but we we're, we're kind of at like oh okay I gotcha. But then again, you do raise a good point because like we have just been systematically annihilating. <laughs> boss after boss without needing to rest. I think we cut this out of a previous episode because we are pacing things and it was just kind of out of the way and out of everything else. So this guy wants us to go beat up Fruits and Yoshi. Ah, uh, okay. So we, we could, could do that then. We could do that. Now let's have some fun. Thank you for one. Yep. Well, let's get ready for some disgusting damage, I think. We haven't buffed you up, but... Ra ra random, random encounter. How do you feel about... Uh, death by sword. Oh my goodness. Damage. <laughs> wow. O okay, well that just happened. We're pretty sure that's hey, hey, hey. at least equivalent to uh -huh. Toby. Oh, easily. I think that definitely, like, is a cut above, you know, pun probably intended somewhere in there. Anyway, we got Futsunushi here. Do we fulfill or talk?
Hmm, that really depends. Do we, do we side with Futsunushi here? I don't know, like, who's, like, law or, or <laughs> chaos here. Mm, not entirely sure. Or if it's just, just different flavors of law or chaos. It's my endemon named Eldra. Oh, is that the one yeah, we Yeah, that's it's the, three, it's the three the one who gave us the quest. You know, it's, it's a usual two demons want you to kill the other one quest in, each, in his own. And each one gives you their like story of like what is going on, and it's like, all right, so which which do you choose? Let's go talk. Go go back to the other one and talk to them too, and see what they think. Well, we'll see. Yeah, so it's. Hmm. So, do we want to support Adramelic or Futsunushi? Oh. Yep, we're, we're, we're doing a betrayal. Can't <laughs> wait, time to destroy you. As we do. This will do. Alright, let's see what we're up against here. Okay, so, okay. weak to ice. Okay. In. Hellish Brand and Deathbound. That's. Yeah. doesn't seem like terribly impressive moveset there. Terribly no. Well, let's prepare our cannon. So, we're gonna load the cannon. Uh, you know, I guess in a metaphorical <laughs> sense or something. And then, and then we will do the cannon thing. Come on! <laughs> really, immediately tries to make it so he, Come on! You are already dead. <laughs> now, I don't know if it will literally one shot. That would that would be. Uh, surprising, to say at least. Well, let's sap the defense a little bit more. Oh, I did yeah. so much damage. It's... isn't it glorious? I love it. Like, already, like, Adramelic is, like, a third of the way down. Well, with a bar, with a <laughs> with that, with, with that with donum the... gladi. Yeah, so it's still pretty good. It is still pretty good. It's definitely when it doesn't crit, though. It definitely is not as strong as like a Hustle Toby. But when it does have the setup, it definitely feels like it strikes a lot harder. Yeah, it looks like it places it, so that's... doesn't... Hmm. That's a little unfortunate, but definitely the guaranteed crit is what we want here. I think it's definitely good. We'll try to cover this too. If might very well get very close to it with this Mac and Lewin hit. Oh my gosh, it did. <laughs> it really... That's... 
gross how powerful that is. I love mm -hmm. it. <laughs> oh. No, oh, didn't die, just ran off. Let us go claim the spoils of war. If they be killed, potentially to just this button. <laughs> <laughs> the ultimate, like, third choice where it's just like, I side with no one but myself. Just murders both. I feel like that's just like the chaotic evil route, though. It's actually generally the neutral route in SMT, where you just kill every side. Oh, well. I guess that's how you perfectly balance things, is just kill every side so there is no sides. That's not how you diplomacy everybody. I really don't recommend that. <laughs> so yeah. Okay. Oh, a strength bomb. Two strength bombs. Ooh. That's a nice reward. <laughs> Um, no, but if you want us to but, be... Uh, well, we could we could totally become one, definitely. <laughs> is, is, is that allowed? Are we able to just magically become a Shinto god? I don't, I don't know if that's how that works. Well, we're at Nahopino, so clearly something's going on. True. But hey, we, we, got some, we got some lovely trees. strength bombs. I'll, I will not just, say just no to make, more strength. Just make our drill even stronger. Truly the drill that pierces. Okay, so... We actually... want to go... here. To the fairy village. Because it seems like the quest doesn't actually unlock unless you've cleared here to hog. Um. Hmm. I see. Yeah, preferably we want you to stay here because you're like, you got in trouble before and then you're in danger and you're kind of, well, you're, you don't have any demons and stuff and we don't want you to like, get in danger. Exactly. Because you li we like your design. It's cute, and you you seem very squishy. It's it's it is a very nice aesthetic. You're very squishy in the kind of possibly gonna die if you're not careful way. We don't want that to happen. That would be very no bueno. Please do not plot die. P please no. User will be upset. <sighs> if if there's anything to take away here, do not die in a cutscene. That is a very permanent <laughs> way of death. <laughs> it's the worst way. Yeah, the quest is now there. Excellent. It begins questing time. It's always important. Toy is very important. Vinyl is very nice. It is. I look at like vinyl bodies, I'm just like, gosh, that'd be really nice to just be that. Yeah, that's <laughs> <laughs> very understandable. Yes. It's honestly kind of embarrassing just how much we could look at pull toys and go, oh god, why don't, why can't I be this? <laughs> right? I look at pull toys, I'm just like, I just want to be this. Can I be this now, please? It's extremely gender. It's, it is so gender. That is the, like, if there's any one singular gender that I could gender the most with, it's that one. It's toy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, it's all, it's gender, it's body goals, it's, it's just goals. Like, if there's one single life goal I have, it's oh, being toy. Well, do I do want some toy. How'd you know? No, that's not what she meant, but... <laughs> We've got a lot of magic incense. I wonder who could take make use of that. Hey, hey, hey! Honestly, uh, we haven't really used... Like, we use 
magic demons obviously, but we don't really worry about having a ultra cannon demon. We use demons magic when true. we want that element. That's true. Like we don't really sp like spe specifically build like a nuke mage basically that just like yeah. tosses thousands of magic damage at something. As, as it stands, elements are so varied that we keep swapping them out. Whereas with physical, we can just dedicate a demon to be the physical. Yeah, because physical damage tends to be pretty, like, singular in its typing. Yeah, it's a thing. So, yeah, that is understandable. That said, I think the closest I've seen that could fit the bill of a general use magic caster like that is probably going to be, like, Loki, because all four standard elements. True, uh, yes. Mm. That's probably the one I would say that is the best fit for that. Let's see, so... What does Isis have for us? Oh, right. We're, Kansu was a thing we had to deal with, or did we... No, we already dealt with that, We, we, we fought Kansu. Yeah. Then we fought so like my... the... We fought the other... that snake bird thing. I forget what it was called. And the snake bird thing? I okay. think it wanted to be Ra, but wasn't Ra. Oh, and that thing. he took yes. the Wing Sun quest. Right. Oh, and apparently he took horses here to it as well. Oh dear. Oh, now he wants to become Ra. Uh, everyone wants to become a god. Yeah. <sighs> Meanwhile, we're running around, like, punching them, basically. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, no. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, hmm. Let's ask, is Miyazu's life in danger? Why not? Yeah, we'll go with the top one. No, we we just said, don't don't cut scene this. What are you doing? I illegal. <laughs> Stop. Cease. Uh, let's go with yeah that. I mean, that's one solution. That's certainly one way you can do it. Did she ask for this? Subasa did not ask for this. True. <laughs> Remember, it's very important to get permission. Y yeah, you, you've got the right idea. Yeah. See, Isis knows what's up. <laughs> oh, that's not a good sign. I feel like that could be dangerous. Yeah, that's Do not. that's very dangerous. That also counts as probably a cutscene death of a sort. <laughs> very bad. Miyazu, we're going to have to have yeah. a talk. It's called Don't Die in a Cutscene. Exactly. We like Miyazu. Yeah. We don't know what's happened to Miyazu. Yeah, Miyazu is good. His I little completely plot presence is his head, but still. Exactly. It's we, like, we, she's we, one of those like. We saw she's one of those we, like precious cute beanies. Yes. We saw her early on in the game, and we were like, if, if anything happened to Miyazu, would. Geez, what was it? What's how's that meme go again? We 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 don't want things to happen, Miyazu, because we saw Miyazu at the start of the game, and we we're like, you're good. We like you. Please please stay alive. She's she's our precious cinnamon roll that we must protect. Basically. Don't worry, we will stop Kansu from doing a very rude. 
You could either end up completely stopping evil plot or un unbeknownst to everyone involved, including yourself, you accidentally activate the evil plot. And it's like, <laughs> haha, you fool. For you see, I was <laughs> counting on you to try and stop me and therefore you fell right into my plan. And it's like, <clears> oh no, however, could I have not seen this? And then bad things happen because, uh, oopsie, ain't, you did it. Ain't, ain't, ain't that the way sometimes? It really do be like that sometimes. It's true. It really do. A word. We are prepare. Um. Miyazo, please do not be kill in this cutscene. I mean, it's a very sweet sentiment, but, you know, <laughs> it's, it's complicated. And then we show up just like, hi. Yes. with this isn't what she wants because I think there's like a there's a clear like miscommunication going on here <laughs> just a bit yeah. just a bit yeah I mean we would curse of our humanity oh absolutely but that doesn't necessarily mean that everyone that wants to that's true like uh, I'm all as anyone who knows me would say like I'm all too eager to cast aside my humanity and to become toy or Something similar to toy. <laughs> but definitely toy. We agree humanity offers an un unreasonable fate, but at the same time, we feel like forced Naho Binoing would be potentially unwise if it results in, like, death of the self. Yeah. Do not, do not yeah. let your headmates take over your brain. We just glance at Algami like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just like, you know. Uh, it's like you... Algami's just like, I'm right here, you know. Yes, and you're not supposed to take me over, so just setting some healthy boundaries here. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like, basically, if someone were to, like, tell me, like, I wish for you to no longer be human. That's like threatening me with a good time. It's like, <laughs> yes, please. I would like yeah. to not human anymore. Behold! Well, this is almost the plot I was predicting, but I don't think quite exactly. Oh, defense down again. Excellent. Oh, we've got... we got those two. we got Anubis, and I forget what that other thing there is called. Anubis and... Thoth. Okay. Thoth. Okay. That. So we got Anubis and Thoth. Okay. Ice and don't use light. Wow, he's skilled so. Miss Missic Missic takes pass. Counters all attacks of a weak almighty attack for one turn. Counterattack also infl inflicts shroud. Okay. Yep. Mm. Lots of fire and and light, which I suppose surprises nobody from a sun god. Well, when all your problems are things killable with uh, Mac and Lewin, uh, and 
and you have a Mac and Lewin, then you just you must cut. Teehee. Mm. Oh, hey, that's not nice. Mm. I, I I do not appreciate that. That's a rude. Time to find out. Who doesn't? And That's not bad. I mean, it still does like a fair bit of damage. Like, it certainly is a very noticeable dent in the health bar to, to just casually deal 2,000 damage. So, yeah. Hmm. There's yeah, still quite a bit of health on both of those guys. You know, hmm. Yeah, they they might be a bit of a handful, to be sure. Useless critical. Yeah. <laughs> excellent. That's less excellent, but at least only today you won. That is not good. I do not appreciate that. Yeah, not really, no. It's, uh, like, evade accuracy up is nasty. Yeah, we're gonna have to just, like, purge that. There we go. Thank you. That was a good. Which one of these heal? Because I almost, almost guarantee one of them, one of them heals. If any of them heal, it probably would be Thoth. I don't believe Anubis generally heals. Anubis, I, I remember for being light and dark type. Thoth does Almighty, I believe, has light, and probably has heal. Well, maybe heal, rather. But if there's any of them that can heal, it's probably Thoth? Because I can't, to my recollection ever recall like no no healing no healing yeah, okay so it's just a bunch of it's just a bunch of like buffing support stuff okay maybe for like it's not healing or something I, I hope not it'd be an ultimate plot twist if the Anubis had healing instead because I'm pretty sure I don't ever remember Anubis being a healer but the fact that they have a variety of status stuff is very mean This is... Yeah, right. So... So, for one round, he will counter-strike us with possibility of inflicting Shroud. Because of... We call Mighty Shroud. We call Mighty Shroud. The Heek of Shroud? Is it like a unique... Is it like yeah, a special know. boss status? Yeah, I'm not sure what Shroud does. Either, either it's a... Translation era, and it's just Mirage, or it's a unique thing. Just thwack. <laughs> Come on. Well, let's prepare our cannon for firing next. Okay. Hmm. I don't know what that means, but. Okay. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent dodge. <laughs> Orochi refuses to be zapped with light. It's just like, no! Orochi's quite dodgy, interestingly. Uh, you wouldn't think so, because the only... Agility's, the agility's crap, but... But, have, wow. But have noticed can it. Orochi move? You can't notice that Orochi's actually quite dodgy, interestingly enough. Which... Which would not be reflected in the stats if you looked purely at the stats, because Orochi does not seem to be, like, unusually dodgy. Like, mediocre at best. But certainly not a dodge tank. But wow, just, either that was amazing RNG, or Orochi has better evasion than I thought. Because they even have, like, buffs on, don't they? Like, to hit more accurately? 
So it was like extra like silly how that happened. We do have a hit a Ava buff on ourselves. But even that oh, was pretty pretty lucky. Yeah, that felt like like an incredible stroke of luck that just happened. Okay, wind. And so wind. No, no heal no healing on you either. Right. No, just support stuff, basically. Oh, hecking wrecked. Well, if we get rid of, like, Anubis and Thoth, that probably removes a lot of, like, buffing. Oh. Or, or you could just call a new Thoth. <laughs> oh. Well, that's annoying. I shall pass judgment. He's actually quite oh. territory. Imagine, imagine he has like Konsu Ra probably has quite a bit of magic. Well, and the fact that he's also like level eighty-two, which would probably be helping out things with that. Damn it. <laughs> well, we didn't need that. Yeah, I think Orochi might be needing some healing soon. Good. <laughs> Good choice. Alright. Yeah. Yeah, Subasa has his hands full because he has the only attacks that proc weaknesses, I think, on any of the enemies here, for the most part. Freeze! Much needed healing. Behold. Yeah, yeah that especially when the nature second. Yeah, seriously. Oh my god. The thing, the thing that's scary is that like these enemies have a lot of buffing and debuffing, which really makes them a bit more threatening, as opposed to just like ideal damage. I'm just grateful that there's no healer. That would make this fight, a, like, kind of a nightmare to deal with. Because could you imagine that, Aether? Like, you delete, like, the enemy healer, and Konsu Ra is just like, lol, ha JK, the healer's still alive. I brought it back. It's like, <laughs> oh, why would you do this? You know it would happen, too. Oh, poor emergency AP. For real. You've won. <laughs> they sure like the Hamulans. They really do. Light Not immunity would have been... Yeah, no. Oh, oh, mm. Mm. Now nope. I could be in danger. I think this is a bit in the hee hee, I'm in danger like, scenario. Light. Uh, it's probably going to use Almighty, which we won't be able to block, which will be interesting. Because, yeah, a lot of its skill set is Almighty. and The only way we have to like light. negate this turns is to dodge or. Uh, Use some of the special move, like, do we have anything here that crits? Uh, no, we don't really have anything to block Almighty. Hmm. Be better to just... Survive, really, somehow. Survive. That's kind of like... Really what we're at here, it's just 
try to survive, really. Well, it's halfway through it. Yep. We just need to keep our Fionn McCool just constantly churning out the big crits. As long as we keep on doing that, we will probably be okay. We just have to, like, somehow survive this. The Hamions should be able to be located at least. Yep. Here we go. Oh, excellent. The good news is that's most of their offense. And good. Yes, excellent. Well, that was a very good turn. Yeah, it went better than we thought. It could have gone really badly. Yeah, there is... That certainly could have been very bad, yes. Mm, it's another little block. They spam, like, the Hama spells so yeah, much that... Yeah, thing. It really is, like, gonna get mileage. Yeah, that's just what we'll see. Exactly. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of getting low on MP. Or charged up and stuff. Uh, okay. Yeah, after... This Mac and Lewin will have to charge up the MP. Oh, we're so close. Excellent. Oh, very good. It's nice to see like Serenup actually surviving like boss battles because before they were really struggling with that. <laughs> In fact, come to think of it, like, our demons currently have been surviving boss battles quite handily. I think a lot of that has to do with items, but it just feels like we had that, like, one segment of our, like, stream run where it's just like we had to deal with, like, our team being destroyed, like, at times. <laughs> And it's just like constantly having to like revive them. I, I yeah. heck, this is probably one of the few times we have not even bothered to run a healer, <laughs> and we're still doing perfectly fine somehow. It's it's a point. Yeah, because like we needed a healer for the vast majority of our playthrough. It's like I think this is our first stream session where we've Freeze. largely forgone a healer. Might be our second. I don't know if we used to heal her much in our previous stream, but certainly it feels like as of lately. It's just we don't need one. I shall pass judgment. Now, what well. do you what do you, what do you have against Serena, <laughs> really? You, you you were saying about healing. Yep. Well, that's what I get for, for daring the game. Oh, you're so easy. We'll never need healing. Games like, you want to bet? It's not be too hasty. No. We gotta think tactically here. Confidence is dangerous when you have too much of it. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that. All right. Looks like looks like he's primed and ready for his big sword strike. And whack! Oh yeah! Wow, is he ever a good damage dealer? <laughs> I think he just—he's like our Siegfried from P3. Yeah, and some of those damage, some of those hits were probably 
not as good as Hasutobi, but given he will always revive his allies, there was no no real benefit to having Hasutobi. No. In which case, like, like Fionn McCool was the absolute correct choice to make here. I think against boss battles where... There's going to be allies. We have a guaranteed... There's going to be allies, like, Yoshitsune is not the choice to make. Full strength. Yeah, can never go wrong with that. That's right. Yeah, not likely. <laughs> yeah, no. I hunt mm. with new power. Z Zeobarian is very nice. Okay. Maybe make it all because if we want to use Almighty, we've got other choices. True. Although if we want to we use do. Thunder, we've also got Tsubasa. <laughs> also true. Wait a minute, it'll probably yeah, be could... good. It'll probably be good on whatever we fuse you into. Yeah. If anything. Exactly. No, like, Seth is, seems like a pretty solid, like, the only thing really they're missing is, like, ice, really. <laughs> and, and light, of course. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> well, we have clearly all three choices we could make, including literally nothing. So, hmm. Hmm. so we have her fate in our hands. This precious cinnamon roll here. Uh, so what do? Hmm. I feel I think like we probably. We feel like. Tsubasa has come into this willing to stop Konsu because more interested in Miyazo's feelings than whatever the ultimate good thing to do is. So he'll yeah. probably continue with stopping Konsu. Yeah, so we'll, we'll stop Konsu. That is what we will do. Yay, we did a thing. Y yay? That kind of did feel like... We, we, we succeeded. We made everyone happy. We haven't solved Miyazo having a, a terminal illness, question mark, but we've stopped anyone dying. Yep. 
in a technical sense, we, we have stopped any deaths from arising, yes. Well, we did, we did stop her dying, that's, a, that's the important thing. We stopped her dying in a cutscene. Which is important, because that means that she's still alive and, and won't die otherwise, for now. You know, just don't die off screen. Um, please? Hey. <laughs> Yay! Excellent. You see what? Well, we 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 did the thing. We we beat a pretty tricky boss. Yes, we definitely want to heal after that one. Oh, definitely. We need it. Yeah, we haven't really progressed the main stuff much, have we? Now, granted, I imagine that, like, having episodes dedicated to, like, side hey, hey, hey. content is probably not a terrible thing in of itself, but I liked hey, that uh -huh. we've kind of done a mix of the two. Yeah, it's, we've done Just, that We've done a few some episodes where it's been just side stuff. So, what's going on here? Oh, yeah, why is everyone wanting to do a talk thing here? The Egyptian demons down here were just like, well, that sure happened. It's... Pretty much. That seems to be the takeaway is this, like, yep, that sure was a thing that just happened. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think this is probably an ending point for us, isn't it? Yeah, so today we, we went around and beat up a few side demons and also saved Miyasu's life. Or... Yep. Possibly endangered it. We're not really sure because it's a big question mark, really. Because because two mental illnesses are just like that. Yeah, it, it was really <laughs> more like you you saved Miyazu. Uh, question mark. We saved her selfhood. We basically averted identity death in yeah. in a literal sense of she would be omnomed and then become one with with Kansu. But yeah, yeah. Which is we're saying. Hopefully it's not happening not happening to Subasa. The big the, the big end game twist. Subasa's become Algami this whole time. <laughs> it was all a ruse. It was we we've been bamboozled. We've been speckledorfed. <laughs> <laughs> Which is not even a real wor word, and you probably all agree with me. I, I don't even know. <laughs> Subasa definitely would rather assert people's selfhood and freedom and all the rest and would not agree with the angels deciding things for us, or even other gods deciding things for us, and kind of punch anyone who stands in our way with our wind almighty fist. Drill. Drill fist. Exactly. The almighty drill punch. Yes, we'll just murakumo anyone who disagrees with us. You know, when a problem comes along, you just murakumo it doesn't really quite roll off the same, like, doesn't roll <laughs> off the tongue quite the same as uh, when, when you just whip it. But yeah. Outros are hard, okay? They're very hard. That's We're, our outro. Words are hard. Out outro is hard. This is so why... So when you combine... This is why you just tohi and squeak and join us against your, against your will. Mwahaha, become one of us. I, I mean, what? Is, you know, just a bit of a bit ironic, given we're here asserting freedom of individuality through Savasa, and we say, "Oh, by the way, be toy." <laughs> Seriously, though, right? Be be you, unless you can be a toy. Then be a toy. Unless you can be a toy, then be a toy. Definitely. 
toy, 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 toy. <laughs> <laughs>